चैप्टर टू बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवन सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी एक्सरसाइजेस क्वेश्चन वन डिस्कस हाउ क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम हैव अंडरगोन सेवरल चेंजेस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आंसर एरिस्टोटल वॉज द फर्स्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस साइंटिफिक क्लासिफिकेशन ही यूज सिंपल मोर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स टू क्लासीफाई प्लांट्स इन टू ट्रीज श्रब्स एंड हर्ब्स ही डिवाइडेड द एनिमल्स इन टू टू ग्रोप्स वन विद रेड ब्लड एंड वन विदाउट लेनियस इंट्रोड्यूस द टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन विच इंक्लूड्स प्लांटे एंड एनिमेलिया रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स बट दिस क्लासिफिकेशन डज नॉट क्लासीफाई यू कैरियोड्स और प्रो कैरियोड्स सिंगल सेल्ड एंड मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स फोटो सिंथेटिक ग्रीन एलगे एंड नॉन फोटो सिंथेटिक फंगल ऑर्गेनिजम्स देयर फोर द सिस्टम वॉज फाउंड टू बी लेस सिग्निफिकेंट एज इट डिड नॉट इंक्लूड मोर फीचर्स Thus the classification of living organisms has undergone several changes. R H Whitaker introduced the five kingdom classification including Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Some of the characteristics included in this classification are the structure of cells, body organization, mode of nutrition, mode of reproduction and phylogenetic relationship to classify organisms. Subsequently a three domain system was proposed which divided kingdom monera into two domains leaving the remaining eukaryotic kingdoms in the third domain thereby classifying the six kingdoms Question 2 state two economically important uses of a heterotrophic bacteria answer heterotrophic bacteria are used in the production of vitamins antibiotics cheese and curd they help fix nitrogen and are used in the formation of humors b arche bacteria answer arche bacteria are used in biogas production they are used in the bio leaching of mines question 3 what is the nature of cell walls in diatoms answer in diatoms cell walls are embedded with silica imparting characteristic patterns onto the walls and are indestructible These diatoms leave large amounts of cell wall deposits in their habitat to accumulate to form the diatomaceous earth. Question 4 Find out what the term algal bloom and red tides signify. Answer Algal blooms are found in contaminated water. They are an overgrowth of algae, especially blue green algae, cyanobacteria. Their growth leads to water pollution. they inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen rapid multiplication of red pigmented dinoflagellates such as gonaeolex gives the sea a red color a phenomenon known as red tides these algae produce toxins that kill fish and other aquatic organisms question 5 how are viroids different from viruses answer first viroids are small infectious agents with single stranded rna without a protein coat but viruses have single stranded or double stranded rna bound with a protein coat second viroids are very small in size compared to viruses third viroids infect only plants while viruses infect plants animals and microorganisms question 6 describe the four major groups of protozoa briefly answer Four major groups of protozoa are as follows. First, amoeboid protozoans found in the aquatic environment, they move and catch their prey using pseudopodia. Second, flagellated protozoans, these protozoans are free living or parasitic. Their locomotor structure is flagella. Third, ciliated protozoans, they live in aquatic environments. and the present of cilia makes them actively moving fourth sporozoans they contain a wide variety of organisms producing infectious spores throughout their life cycle their spore like phase helps them move from one host to another question 7 plants are autotrophic can you think of some plants that are partially heterotrophic answer insectivores and carnivorous plants are partially heterotrophic These organisms are green and autotrophic but they prey on and digest small components for their nitrogen supply example Utricularia drosera 
nepenthes question 8 what do the terms phycobiont and mycobiont signify answer lichens are a symbiotic association of fungi and algae phycobiont is a part of algae and part of mycobiont fungi mycobiont provides structural cover that protects the algae from unfavorable conditions similarly phycobionts prepare food through the process of photosynthesis which is used by both organisms question 9 give a comparative account of the classes of kingdom fungi under the following first mode of nutrition second mode of reproduction answer phycomycetes mode of nutrition saprophytic or parasitic mode of reproduction asexual reproduction by zoospore motile and aplanospore non motile sexual reproduction zygote can be similar or dissimilar in morphology next ascomycetes mode of nutrition decomposers saprophytic or parasitic or coprophylous mode of reproduction through asexual spores called conidia and sexual spores are known as ascospores next basidiomycetes mode of nutrition saprophytic mode of reproduction by vegetation reproduction through budding the fusion of two somatic cells for the formation of basidiospores is plasmogamy next deutromycetes mode of nutrition decomposers saprophytic or parasitic mode of reproduction through asexual spores called conidia question 10 what are the characteristic features of euglenoids answer the typical features of euglenoids are first absence of cell wall second their body is flexible because there is a protein rich layer called a pellicle third two flagella of different lengths are found fourth they are autotrophic in the presence of sunlight and heterotrophic in the absence of sunlight question 11 give a brief account of viruses with respect to their structure and nature of genetic material also name four common viral diseases answer viruses are infectious agents that crystallize in structure when found outside the host cell the genetic material is either dna or rna never both and they are located within the protein core if the virus that infects plants has single stranded rna then the viruses that infect animals are single or double stranded dna or rna the capsid is their protein core which in turn is made up of small subunits called capsomers which protect nucleic acid common viral diseases are influenza aids herpes and rabies question 12 organize a discussion in your class on the topic are viruses living or non living answer non living characters first no cellular structure second they can be stored in bottles like crystals third there will be no energy storage or energy liberation systems fourth they cannot grow or multiply outside the host next living characters first they are host specific second the presence of genetic material third the ability to multiply fourth they have antigenic properties fifth they are obligate parasites sixth mutations occur friends we have completed all these question answers if you like the video kindly like it and share it with your friends thank you for watching